Welcome as we begin week two in our season of Lent, a time of purification for the times we've strayed from God. And now we ask his forgiveness. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Psalm 33, Praise of God's Power From heaven the Lord looks down and observes the children of Adam. From his dwelling place he surveys all who dwell on earth. A king is not saved by a great army, nor a warrior delivered by great strength. Useless is the horse for safety. Despite its great strength, it cannot be saved. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, upon those who count on his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive through famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. May your mercy, Lord, be upon us as we put our hope in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 to 38. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. In today's gospel, Jesus offers what sounds like a pretty tall order. These conditions for discipleship may look like just a bunch of boxes to be checked. This idea that we have to be merciful and give and this and then that really But to be a disciple of Jesus does demand a lifestyle change. A lifestyle change that comes from being with him, from spending time with one who does live like that, and whose life flows from his relationship with the Father. Much like in our human relationships, we become like the people we spend time with. We take on their characteristics. We may even have some of their same mannerisms, tone of voice, or phrases. As we spend time with the Lord, he converts our hearts from the inside out. And being merciful is not as difficult when we do it with Jesus. And refraining from judgment is not as difficult when we learn how to see the way that Jesus sees. 
This also prevents us from condemning because Jesus himself never condemns even the sinners who come to him and ask for forgiveness. Furthermore, when we spend time with people who are just naturally better than us, there is an increased desire in us to be like them. And practice makes perfect. Perfection doesn't happen overnight. And the perfection that the Lord invites us to, this idea of being perfect like our Heavenly Father is perfect, is not something he expects us to figure out on our own. Rather, the grace is there to be received. And the grace is freely given, as it says in this gospel, full measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing so that we can have everything that we need to live a different kind of life. The more we open ourselves to receive the Father's love for us, the more it expands our capacity to receive. And the more we receive, the more our hearts and our lives are recalibrated. We're brought in to being able to notice things differently, to see differently, and ultimately to live differently. And so we ask for the grace as we continue in this Lenten season to lean into the heart of Jesus and to learn from him what it means to be merciful, what it means to approach people with great mercy and compassion, with forgiveness in our hearts, ready to receive the individual and to reflect the Father's love. Our special intention today that we lift into prayer along with our own is for the people of Ukraine as they continue to suffer in such a violent and hate-filled war. For them, for their soldiers, their sons and daughters fighting for freedom, and for our own prayers we lift now and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, because I live in a relatively comfortable and safe part of the world and society, I am not as sensitive to the needs of the weak as you are. Help me to hate the injustice you hate and love the poor and needy whom you love. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, friends, for praying with us today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and God is with us. So much to be grateful for. (laughs) And folks, I hope you all also received our weekly Lenten email. Um, Every week we send it just highlighting the spiritual opportunities coming up in the week. So if not, you can always see it on our website, thegodminute.org. And, of course, our app blog also has all the news. Thank you for praying with us. Blessings and peace upon you as you go forth in your day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow.